Hey, my name is Ryan Smallman. I'm gonna show you how I made this animation using motion in Adobe Fresco. Check it out. So I open a new document in Adobe Fresco and tap the motion button down here in the corner. There's actually two ways you can add motion to your artwork, either with motion paths or the one we're gonna to use today, which is frame by frame. I actually got all this animation from drawing only three different frames, so a little bit can go a long way. So once I turn on motion, it will open a timeline for that layer. That way you can have different animations looping on separate layers. So I can just start drawing each frame right here and just tapping the plus icon in the timeline will add more frames. You can do this for however many frames you'd like, but I actually only used three here. It's actually super easy to see how it's turning out. Just press play on the motion bar and your animation will start looping. If any part of your animation looks a little wonky, just tap on the frame you want to edit and change it right there. And if you tap it again, you can duplicate, delete, or copy-paste the content of that frame. I also adjusted the settings to show what's called onion skin, which gives you a view of the frames before and after the one you're working on. It's super helpful to see what the in-between motion needs to be. You can also adjust speed and playback type right here in settings. I set mine to 3 frames a second so it would loop a little bit slower. Since I wanted to animate a lot of different elements in my drawing, I created separate timelines on different layers, that way I could focus on each one at a time. But when you press play, you'll be able to see them all looping at the same time. Once you're happy with the motion, you can clean up each frame right here in Fresco and share your animation as an mp4 or a gif file by tapping the share icon. But a cool part about Fresco is that it automatically syncs to your Creative Cloud. So I actually went to my computer to finish up the colors in Photoshop, and the file was right there. So all the frames of each motion timeline were all right there in Photoshop, ready for me to edit. And here's the final result. You can take a closer look at the whole project on my Behance right now at behance.net slash Ryan Smallman. All right, so that's how I did my animation using motion in Adobe Fresco. It was super easy, super fun, and now you know how to as well. So good luck on your next creations. Thanks.